Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I just thought I'd do a little quick catch up with you because I haven't done a video for a little while. So I thought I'd talk you through what I've been up to and just, uh, yeah, there's a little bit of perfume stuff as well that I'll be talking about, but really just a little cozy catch up. So I've got a mint tea. It's a Pucker 3 Mint Tea. I was recommended by a fragrance friend on Instagram. I think it was Hayley that recommended it, but I might be wrong. So shoot me if I got that wrong. But anyway, it was a great recommendation. It's a, a really nice mint tea, got lots of flavour, which is what you want, isn't it? So let's talk about what I've been up to. I have just been on holiday. If you follow me on Instagram, you can't have missed it. I was in Rhodes. Uh, Sam and I went for eight days and we had a lovely time. The weather was mostly good. We did get some rain. We had a pretty bad storm one day but we mostly had a really lovely time we first of all stayed in Lindos which is further down the south of the island south east south east north east south west, south east ish of the island we had four days there and it was that's on the coast of course and that was really nice had some fabulous food. We had a couple of amazing gyroses. If you don't know what gyros is, it's a pita bread with a marinated meat and chips and a salad and tzatziki, which is that lovely sort of garlicky, cucumber, mayonnaise type. I think it's like a yogurt type sauce, I guess we'll call it. And uh, yeah, Giros is definitely a love. I hadn't had one for so long. So we, um, yeah, we had, I think we had four, three or four Giroses while we were away. We also had lots of pizza, which of course is a Greek uh, traditional food, not. Uh, but we did have a few pizzas. We found the pizzas in Lindos, we had two in Lindos. The pizzas in Lindos, had far too much cheese on them. You know, I think it's mozzarella, isn't it? That really, really stringy cheese. And it was overkill both times, but different places we had the pizza, ridiculous amount of cheese. So that, that's the food in Lindos covered, I think. Now I had a cleftico on the first night and that was lovely. Slow cooked lamb stew served in like a tracing paper, served in tracing paper, uh, but that was really good. Sam had a souvlaki, which is uh, a chicken kebab on the plate, and his was a bit bland, so uh, he wasn't too impressed with that first meal, which was a shame. But we had a lovely, lovely time. We went exploring, we had a hire car, we went and explored. Uh, we explored the nearby resort of Pefkos, and that's where I did the live stream from. Then we also took the car over across the island and explored a few beaches on the other side of the island which are a bit more rugged and wild and, and not not really touristy uh, which was lovely and we uh, we went to a little village and had some food and yeah it was really good and then we the day of the storm so we woke up meaning to drive up to Rhodes town and it was a ridiculous storm there was actually a flood out on the road out outside our hotel lightning just constant rumbling of thunder so luckily it subsided by it's just gone 10 o'clock in the morning so we were hoping to leave a bit earlier then we went up to uh, we stopped at a couple of places uh, we thought we were going to Anthony Quinn Bay but someone told me on Instagram that I'd stay I'd gone to the the other side, not actually Anthony Quinn. Anyway, it doesn't matter, it was still lovely. Uh, we tried to go to the Butterfly Valley but that was closed due to the storms. Apparently it was too slippery with all the rain that had been. So we didn't go there or well, we went there, but we didn't get to go around the thing, whatever it is. Took the car back. Then we got ourselves to our accommodation in Rhodes. And 
yeah, we had a lovely, uh, lovely time exploring. Uh, we went to the old, went to the old town and beautiful, build, very beautiful buildings, old um, you know, ruins and castles and all that sort of stuff. And then through also the new town, which is much obviously much more modern. There's a Sephora there, so I went in, but there was nothing exciting perfume-wise. It's all the same perfumes that you get in any any kind of drugstore, whatever. So there wasn't anything that amazing. And you yeah, had some great food. We did find an amazing pizza. We had two pizzas in Rhodestown. Neither of them were too heavily cheesed, which was fabulous. The second one we had, which was at the, uh, what's it called? Pizza Street 99, I think it's called Pizza Street 99. And that was amazing. A very um, informal place. You just sit out on the street, um, not on the floor, but tables, you know, just basic uh, tables and chairs out on the street. I think it was like nine euros for a, a really large pizza, something like that, eight or nine euros. And it was fantastic. The base was uh, perfect. The tomato sauce was very fresh, very natural. Um, not too much cheese, not too little. It was excellent. It was really, really good. We had that on our last night. Had we had that on an earlier night, I think we would have gone back for more. We also ate, we ate at the hotel quite a lot because it was all inclusive. And that was okay. We stayed at a place called Castellum Sweets and it, the food was okay. You know what all inclusive is like. It wasn't high end, it wasn't um, It wasn't the worst of the worst, it was just okay. Um, the booze at the hotel was pretty shit though. <laughs> the vodka did not taste like vodka and it didn't seem to have much effect whatsoever. The beer was okay. I had a glass of wine once, slightly vinegary, but only what you expect, that an all inclusive. Just trying to think what other food we had. Did we, oh yes, we ate out at uh, my friend Melissa, who I know because of fragrances through Facebook, she recommended a place called Greek Stories in Rhodestown and we ate there. I had the Stefado, which is a slow cooked beef stew. Sam had, what did he have? I can't remember. Damn it, I can't remember what Sam had, that's terrible. Anyway, either way, both of us really, really loved our food and would definitely highly recommend it. I'd love to go back there as well. That was fan fantastic food, really nice atmosphere, uh, really nice service, all of that stuff. So yeah, for, so there's a, a food tour of roads. <laughs> so yeah, just had a lovely, lovely time. Unfortunately, the last few days, both of us got a little bit ill. Sam had a cold and I had the I had about three days of the, the worst sore throat in the world ever, uh, where I just, uh, it was just, I couldn't sleep properly. I constantly needed to be drinking or, or, or having a lozenge, sucking on a lozenge as you do. Um, it was very aggravated, like razors were in my throat, it was horrible. And then that developed into a more normal cold. And it was a really awful cough for a couple of days. Now, I'm mostly over it, so it's all good. Definitely not the C word, tested several times, so it's not that, and feeling much, much better. So uh, yeah, the other thing I want to update you on is I've got an amazing collaboration coming up. I've talked about it um, ages ago now on Instagram, I, and I think I might have mentioned it on here. We're gonna be celebrating females in the fragrance world. It's just gonna be amazing. I've got loads of collaborators. I've got lots of uh, great clips to put together. I've done my own little bit of filming today just waiting on a couple of people to give me their clips and then we'll be putting it all together and I really do think it's going to be fabulous so it's been a lot of work because it's also been it's been very slow because I came up with the idea just before I got told that I've got surgery so suddenly I was packing my bags and flying to Lithuania so um when I had all these people interested in doing the collaboration and I, and I was getting inundated and I had to put everything on hold for a bit while I did the surgery stuff and then 
you know what life's like you know I had my birthday and I went to go and see my dad in Nottingham and something else was happening and it was all just a bit busy so now uh now yeah obviously then going on holiday so now I have a bit of time I've got some, I will have some work coming up but I've got a bit of time now and I'm going to put that video together. The struggles I have have been technical because the clips come in via different means and I'm only doing it on my phone. So if it comes in via Dropbox or wet transfer and all these other things and I just really struggle to get the video clip off of the thing it was sent and onto my actual phone as a video. If anyone is really good at that stuff, can they please let me know because I'm still struggling. And then finally, uh, what else is happening? I've got a live stream coming up tonight actually, uh, 9 p.m. UK time. I'm not sure if I'm gonna post this video before the live stream or maybe tomorrow. But it's with Sherry from the Top Note, so I'm really looking forward to that. We're gonna be talking about Thierry Reinfeld perfumes because we're both big fans of the fragrances. So we've got that coming up. What else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, I think that's really it. Uh, I mentioned in my uh, recent video about going grey. Um, I'm transitioning to uh, let my natural hair grow out, which has got quite a lot of grey. It's not uh, it's not 100% grey, but quite a lot of grey in my hair. I'm just going to let it grow out. I'm done with dyeing. And I'm now six weeks with no dyeing, which doesn't sound a great deal. But to me, yeah, it's, it is fantastic. I feel really good. I've actually got um, a hair makeup on, which is like, giving it this coppery highlights, which I think looks really nice. But um, if you lift up here, you can see how much uh, grey or white or whatever it is I've actually got. So um, I'm actually excited to have grey hair, <laughs> which is the weirdest thing because I used to hate it. Um, it's just a very, it's a very new thing for me, but I'm loving it coming through actually. So that's it then. Um, I've got a QA and a coming up very soon because I hit 6K. Yeah, I probably should mention that. I hit 6,000 subscribers. So cheers to me. Cheers to you. Thank you for subscribing if you are a subscriber. I just took a little break to have some dinner with Sam. He's now gone and I'm back, but really just back to say, yes, I've got a Q&A coming up and I've got loads of fantastic questions which I'll be answering in that. I might do it as a live stream, not sure yet, but so that will be coming up very soon. And then that's it really for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, I didn't know, I didn't talk about perfume. <laughs> I'll very quickly talk about perfume. Perfumes I wore on holiday, mostly the main one I wore and I actually ran out a whole travel size of and that was a lovely gift from my friend Alicia. She sent me the extract from the Paris Monte Carlo Ylang Ylang Nosy Bee. Really kindly she sent me a few different things and, and she sent me the set of the travel size extracts with a lovely travel atomizer and I actually ran through the entire uh, I think it's about a 10 mil atomizer while I was on holiday because I wore it all the time. I wore it days, nights, until it had gone. I also wore, I had a uh, Kai's Gardenia Sucre, I think it's called, which is um, sort of like a, a gourmand, uh, well, obvious, like, like a sugary sweet sort of gardenia. So I wore that a couple of times from a sample that I've got. And I wore also from Kai's Fleur d'Oranger a couple of times from the sample that I've got. I've recently reviewed that. And what was the other one? Oh, I had a couple from 4160 Tuesdays samples. I, I wore Clouds on the way there. Cloud EDP I wore for the flight and then I wore that a couple of times as well while I was on holiday. But the main one was the Paris Monte Carlo Ylang Ylang Nosy Bee, which is a really gorgeous, rich, voluptuous, Ylang Ylang, so very kind of like fruity. It's not a fruity floral, but the floral just feels a little fruity and lots of lovely, really nice, natural smelling vanilla. Very rich fragrance, really lovely, long lasting. Absolutely love it. And I'll definitely be taking another travel spray next time I go on holiday because it just has that holiday feel. So there's my little perfume bit. <laughs> That's it for the perfume. Thank you for watching. I will see you very, very soon.